This video will introduce you to the upper, mid, and thoracolumbar soft tissue lateral recumbent position, OMM technique. This can be used if your patient is pregnant or for some reason can't lay on their stomach. Uh, it also can be used if your patient prefers it rather than lying on their stomach for the thoracolumbar soft tissue prone. We're going to use this to free up ribs 4 through 12, to free up the quadratus lumborum muscle, also known as the QL, and to free up the paravertebral musculature and fascia. Now, the first thing you want to do before you get started with this technique is to really have your patient very stable, very secure. Do this while our patient bend their knees and bring them very close because we want this to be rock solid, really, really, really uh, together, really, really stable. We'll then take their up arm, and I like to put mine just like this so that the patient it won't move when I push forward because we're going to be pushing them in this manner. And we don't want them to roll off the bed, we don't want them to not be stable. It really makes them hard to treat if they're not stable. Next, like in our other videos, we're going to place our hands in a way so that our hand on the patient is called the listening hand and our hand on top of it is called the force hand. Now, when we're actually doing the pushing or the treatment, only our force hand, only the one on top, will be supplying the pressure and the listening hand will be simply listening or feeling for uh, tissue relaxation, for fascia relaxation, for somatic dysfunction, etc. Now, with our hands, I know it's going to be hard to tell, hard to see from your angle, we're going to be pushing it, placing them so that the thenar eminence, hypothenar eminence, the base of our hand will be right on that paraspinal, paravertebral musculature. So as we feel on the patient's back, I'm just flipping over here. Along the midline, we have our spinous processes, the bumps of the vertebra. We're going to move just lateral or just up, up, away from the table to this musculature here, the paravertebral musculature. Now when we're pushing, we're going to be pushing this musculature out and anterior on the patient. So towards me and towards the front of the patient. So I'll have the patient flip back over to show you how I actually do it. So we want our patient very stable, so we're not going to roll up the table. We've got our listening hand, we've got our force hand. We place the palm of our uh, listening hand on that spinal paravertebral musculature. Force hand comes on and applies a general force towards the anterior and lateral side of the patient. And you work up and down the patient's spine. Each push is about three seconds. You really want to be using that listening hand to feel for any uh, tissue relaxation, for any tight muscles, any areas you might want to concentrate on. And you work up and down the patient's back until you can appreciate a tissue relaxation. Uh, if you're treating a specific somatic dysfunction, you want to work up and down, obviously, until the somatic dysfunction is uh, cured or at least a little bit better than it was. And this is the upper mid, because we're dealing with the upper mid thoracic region, and thoracolumbar, because we're dealing with the thoracolumbar region, soft tissue, lateral recumbent. So upper mid and thoracolumbar, soft tissue, lateral recumbent technique. Noise.